Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Sunil Kumar Jadav. Here we are going to see formation of ammonia that is NH3. How does it form by electronic configuration? I will explain it here. One of my student had given me comment that please sir explain about the electronic configuration and the formation of NH3. So here is this video for you. Here in this formation of ammonia NH3 there are two different atoms one is nitrogen and another one is hydrogen. We know that what is the atomic number of nitrogen can you tell me you can write atomic number of nitrogen atomic number of nitrogen is you can see hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen its number is 7 for nitrogen the atomic number is 7 and for hydrogen we know that the atomic number I will write in short atomic number that is equal to 1. If we write the electronic configuration of this nitrogen electronic configuration electronic configuration of both of them. So first of all I write it for nitrogen you know electronic configuration there are 7 number of electrons so first orbit there will be Two number of electron in this next orbit there will be five number of electron two five first shell there are two electron and in the second shell there are five number of electron while if you are talking about hydrogen it is having atomic number one so its electronic configuration will be only one it has only one orbit and it has one number of electron now if we are talking about this nitrogen then if it has to become inert or we can say as it has to gain the tendency or it has to complete the octave it has to gain three number of electron to make its number that is outermost electron to be eight but here when this ammonia form it is not forming the ionic bond but it will form the covalent bond how what is covalent bond let me explain with one of the examples suppose one student let me say one student is s and another student is let me say p this student is having 10 rupees and this student is also having 10 rupees now they both have gone for buying wafers of rupees 10 now that seller is having packet of wafer which is of rupees 20 now as they both have only 10 rupees how do they buy this s cannot buy this packet and p cannot buy this packet of rupees 20 because both of them have only rupees 10 now what to do as they will not ask the shopkeeper to break the packet and give me of rupees 10 and give me of rupees 10 but what do they do now here the better understanding can be possible the S will not tell the P or P will not tell the S to give my that money that is this will not give it to uh, this S and S will not give it to P that you take the wafer and eat and I will not not they will not do this though what do they do they should take S is paying 10 rupees P is paying 10 rupees they will buy the packet of wafer which is of rupees 20 and then they will do it half that is possible half packet will be taken by half of the wafer from the packet will be taken by s and half of the packet will be taken by p so both of them have mixed their money and they have their packet so that is possible here also same thing would happening if we are writing about the electron dot structure of nitrogen then it has outermost orbit there are five number of electrons so its configuration will be one two here it is one 2 and 3 this is for the nitrogen if you are talking about hydrogen it has only one number of electron in the outermost shell now suppose this hydrogen will be given this one number of electron to the nitrogen then its existence will not remain so they will do the sharing of electron and will make the bond how does it possible as I said that this electron will not donate to the nitrogen or nitrogen will not take the electron from the hydrogen but they will share the electron with each other means what do what does that happening here there are three valence electron means it remain three two completes it octet eight so what does it happen 
that this one electron is not sufficient for this one so that nitrogen will making bond with the three different hydrogen for one one electron pair so both of them will be combined with each other and how do they form the bond i'll write it here that is nitrogen one two this one two and three now what does it happening here now this one will be taking one electron from the hydrogen so its hydrogen's valency will be completed like this that is this hydrogen again one more hydrogen will be there so that would also be completed here and for another hydrogen it will form like this so you know that hydrogen has one electron so it has to complete its first orbit with one more electron it has to make it two so you can see this hydrogen two electron its outermost orbit is complete this hydrogen two it is complete this hydrogen two it is complete and nitrogen required three number of electrons so its configuration will be also completed over here like this so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 this is how they can make the covalent bond it makes simply the covalent bond and its structure will be like this that is this one these two electrons are steady this will make the bond along with the hydrogen that means this one similar way here this electron will form the bonding with hydrogen this and the third one will make the bond with the another hydrogen that is this and this nitrogen require eight number of electrons so that is also complete and that is how it makes the bonding with three hydrogen and it forms this way that is ammonia nh3 i hope it is clear now